Have you guys checked your equipment lately? throughout the city, but it's dead quiet. Either Dohalim's allies have been arrested, or they're keeping a low profile. Meaning the rebels are occupying the palace? Let's hurry up and kick those bastards out. This place is awfully quiet for a siege palace. Such a huge place is spooky without all those people here. They're probably waiting to ambush us. With so few Renans here, I guess this is what it's like when the Danans are expelled and the ruling minority are all that's left. My money's on them using Zoogles to even the odds. I don't even see any Danan guardsmen. The fact that they're not at their stations tells me they really have been driven out. We all swore an oath of loyalty to Lord Dohalim. My fellow guards wouldn't abandon their post lightly. Speaking of which, where the heck is he? How could this be happening? And he had to... You where we should go in the main building? Let's try the Lord's Chamber. Worth a shot. Open, can't you? Well, let's give it a try and find out! You sure about that? From what I hear, that thing can stop even a cannonball. On second thought, let's see if there's a release mechanism somewhere. Looks 
Alex. Some solid equipment. is way too big for its own good. Tell me about it. Plus, where the hell were these soldiers and Zoogles all this time? Normally, the Zoogles are kept in specialized training facilities and only get let out in cases of emergency. Like this one, for instance? Give me a break. I feel... sprightlier than before. Should make for some good weapon crafting material. So, what is Mahogsar exactly? One of the five realms of Dana. From the sound of it, Kelzalik had some dealings with them. Prepare to crumble! Hear me, Flash! 
Is that some kind of note the Rebels left? Hey, it mentions the release mechanism we're looking for, but... This isn't enough to go on. Everybody okay? We're all right, Alfin. on my shield or my armor. I won't forgive you! Take it. You got They really don't give up, do they? Now we get that's my cue! Shut him down! It's over! Everybody okay? We're all right, Alfin. I think this is a key to the noble room of the castle. A noble what? The room at the northern end of this floor. Maybe the release mechanism is in there.
Surprise. Scratches on my shield or my armor. Look, another note from the rebels. If we combine it with the note we found before, then 
There should be a key inside a cabinet in the office. Great. Let's see if we can find it. Behind you, Shion. footing here. Both sides still cared about each other, and now we have to fight some of those same Renans inside the palace. Don't forget, we're here fighting to keep what makes this realm so special alive. Don't lose hope, Kisara. Kisara, do you have any idea just what Kelzalik might be planning at the palace? It's hard to say. I've never seen him use any powerful arts, and I don't think he's particularly skilled with any weapons either. However, I have noticed him accompanied by something strange from time to time. What kind of strange? I don't know. I couldn't see anything with him, but I could sense something was there. Probably some sort of Zoogle. An invisible Zoogle? We'd better be careful in any case. I'd rather we not find out after it jumps us and tries to rip our throats out.
Did they finally get rid of the wall? To think they would hide it in Lord Dohalim's personal quarters. The nerve of these people. They won't get away with it for much longer. That's right. We have to hurry to the Lord's chamber. Let's go. Well, well, if it isn't the slaves and the traitor, I don't remember giving you permission to enter the palace. So it's true. You really are the one behind all this, Kelzalik. I don't remember giving you permission to speak, either. Know your place, slave. Now we see his true colors. Yeah. A despicable excuse for a human being. Though really, I guess that makes him pretty ordinary, huh? Kelzalik, you were Lord Dohalim's most trusted advisor. His closest ally. Why would you betray him? Don't be a fool. I didn't serve him because I wanted to. I expect a mere slave would know, but there are many powerful contenders for the position of Lord. A contest of strength determines the one who will be Lord and undisputed ruler of a realm. There is no choice in the selection. If my master had any ambitions of becoming the Sovereign, I would have gladly served him. But he had no intention of fighting for the crown. Indeed. Can you slaves even imagine how that looked to the rest of us? Enduring the whims of an ambitionless lord, all we could do was wait for the end as we suffered through our humiliation. You want suffering? Try being Dan in for a day. So you plotted against Lord Dohalim in secret. And when my brother found out... And I would do it all again if it meant returning Menancia to its rightful state! A realm where Danans are slaves and Renans their masters. It's the natural order. It's... Enough! Who are you to decide what is natural or rightful, traitor? Miguel. My brother. He dreamed of building a world free of suffering. He gave his life for that dream. And all you've managed to build is a lake of death. You. You killed my brother. And now you'll die for it! Where are you going? I owe you one for that. Quick! 
Slaves are despicable. Your dreams of attaining lordship are no more. Give up, Kelzalik. Attaining lordship? <laughs> Ridiculous. Only those who possess a master core can become a lord. <laughs> what did you think just anyone could do it? But then, what were you trying to accomplish with this? Didn't you betray your lord? Yes, that's true. However, there are other lords. Other lords? So you mean... At last, the truth is revealed. Dohalim, where have you been this whole time? Cleaning up. Kelzalik, you've made your last of these. The fruit of Helgen? You found my production facility? Correct. And I tore it down. But something still troubles me. It's clear that this is no ordinary fruit. Nor was the equipment used to grow it. You couldn't have done all this without outside assistance. Indeed. Something like this must have come from another realm. Mahatsar, perhaps? You actually expect me to talk now? At this point, the contest for the crown will be over soon enough, and you will finally receive the punishment you deserve for your weakness. I've already received my punishment. 
May this be my final act as the Lord of Eldermen and Sia. <laughs> to Mahaksar, Ganeth Horrors, wherever you think you'll find a suitable lord. <laughs> Are you all right with this? He killed your brother after all. He did. But then I thought, he's nothing more than one common, ordinary Renan. He's not worthy of my time or my anger, right? <sighs> so after everything, was the dream of coexisting just a dream? What is that? Those are the cheers of the brave Danans who overpowered Kelzalek's forces. Wait, they challenged the Renans? Indeed. A militia made up of Danon guardsmen, Renan supporters, and of course, the Gold Dust Cats. Do we have you to thank for bringing them all together? Regardless of what your original motivations were, your dream of coexistence saved countless lives. And now, those people out there are fighting to keep that dream alive. That's something real. Be that as it may, they do so now by their own hands. These people no longer need any lord. Where are you going? To put an end to the crown contest. So long as its madness persists, peace will remain ever out of reach. I cannot allow it to continue. The Crown Contest impacts far more than just the Danans. You're choosing to fight Lenegas and the entire Empire. I am well aware. However, if I wish to keep this dream from dying, then I have little choice in the matter. Besides, it's the least I can do. So, you're gonna go out there and make that dream real on your own? You may be decided on your path, but that doesn't make it any less difficult. Why not walk that road with us? Pardon? You heard me. We're fighting to liberate the Danans. You're fighting for the people of this realm. I'd say we're on the same path, really. It would only make sense for us to walk it together. Danon dissidents side by side with a Renan lord? Not the least intriguing invitation I've received. An invitation which would only be proper courtesy for me to accept. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Hey, where'd Kisara go? I don't see her anywhere. Maybe she just needed some time alone. A lot's happened. That makes sense. She did just lose her brother after all. <sighs> we ought to keep moving as well. So long as there are lords who draw breath, we have a mission to complete. Kisara's a big girl. I'm sure she can handle herself. We should hurry on ahead to our next destination. I guess you're right. And it is a lot safer here than it was. What do you think, Dohalim? I am not sure I have the right to say anything as far as Kisara is concerned. Fair enough. Well, I, for one, would like to say goodbye if we get a chance. Let's keep an eye out for her as we leave. going to do now? I'm sure it's complicated for her.
Where did Kisara run off to? You don't think she took off after Kelzalik, do you? No. Nagal entrusted her with his dream. She wouldn't do something reckless like that. Right now, I think she just needs time to think. What she does from here on out is up to her. She has to be the one to decide. Hmm. <laughs>